Hello, I'm Luke from Smallfish and I'm going to quickly show you how to set up custom surface property uh, which what they do is you can use them in materials and the physics shapes and hitboxes in a model and what they do is they deal with everything from like the actual physics or like the weight how it should move around and bounce around and slide around in the world uh, the impact effects so like particles and decals the sounds they should make when they hit and walked on also they do have extra things like uh, break sounds specifically for materials in hammer and they also deal with how the steam audio reverb bake works so basically they deal with um how echoey things should be so if you like using concrete it should echo a lot versus carpet which shouldn't echo really much at all but you can specify that all in the one file so to get started just uh, right click in the asset browser and do a new surface description we can name this whatever so i know what i will name mine i'm gonna name mine whatever and we've got wet whatever.surface so we can go into that i'm double click it and first thing to note here let's say you wanted to make let's say dirt but you wanted to add like different impact effects or like different sounds you can just say i'm going to use dirt as my base surface and so every empty field in here it will use the empty the field in fields from dirt so let's say i don't add any impact effects i don't add anything into here and i don't add any physics but i do want my own sounds so what they also do it will use these sounds and then it will use everything else from the original base surface what i'm gonna do is smack mine as default because i'll just use default and then next you'll see is audio material this is what deals with steam audio in terms of the reverb so i'll just throw in concrete for example to show you that i'll go to everything and audio material so if i open up concrete for example um what it is specifically for is sound energy based on surface so what that means is when i'm in a map and let's say i've got a gun and i shoot it and it goes pow, 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 it says how much should i absorb this sound into the surface or how much should i transmit through myself like should i be like high frequency should they transmit through more or, and so on and the scattering how much should i scatter this sound and what you get from this is it deals with how echoey everything becomes and you get like a realistic echoey type sound and you can search these up online like a uh, sound energy based on surface and get different surface examples and what the what the absorption transmission and scattering would be like obviously you might have to do a bit of tweaking with these to get it sounding nice or you can use the default ones you can create your own up but create your own is just a case of uh, right clicking and then doing audio material but i'm going to use a default uh, concrete one for now description is description next is impact effects these are your particles that happen when you hit the surface so your regular one is a particle that happens when you normally punch it or hit it or whatever and that's just a single particle what you can also do is you can add multiple of them in and it will randomly select between them obviously the bullet one is specifically particles for bullet and the decal is you can add multiple decals and they're just they're kind of like um the little holes that appear on the surface when you hit it and they're not actual holes they're just like little overlaid materials on the surface which is very nice and there's your basic impact effects next are all your sounds these use sound event files so like like all sound definition files and they basically say here's the actual sound file we're using but i want the pitch to be randomly between normal and slightly higher I want the sound like volume to be between normal and slightly lower and I want let's say the decibels which is let's see if it's like a leaf rustling in the wind or like something very very loud it's basically something very quiet something very loud how far away you'll hear it and it basically just contains all that so it can be used to accurately do the sound in game and you can fill all these in so like your walking sounds jumping landing the bullet impact sound and the hard and soft impacts basically like if I threw the, the object, like if it's a model, at the floor, it will use impact hard. If I drop it gently, it will use impact soft. Breakables is a breakable sound. What you'll also see, these, these are mainly used for your models, but generic gibs are like, let's say I had a surface that's the wooden surface, and when I break my model, 
it spawns like little wood chips and I'll put these in generic gibbs. Obviously each model can have their own specific gibbs, so let's say I had a wooden bench. When I break it in the model itself it has like a bunch of wooden planks that break apart. And then I have like little wooden chips as like gibbs. You can do that if you want to or you can just leave it. And last is what's used uh, for your physics. So friction is how much you slide around. So you can use that in terms of like how much the models should slide or how much if you've got a player and you want to make like it very slippy and icy how much the player should slide around on the surface which is cool elasticity is how bouncy it should be so like a bouncy ball density is like how generally dense the material is so like if it's titanium versus polystyrene for example thickness is let's say if we're using like solid wood for like 100 percent thickness versus wooden planks which would be like 10 like very thin and that way you, we can get an accurate calculation for your mass when using on your physics. Dampening is obviously just generic dampening and the bounce threshold is let's say you had your bouncing very high if I drop it like with a very very low velocity and it hits the ground it's the limit of how high the velocity needs to be when it's hitting the ground for it to bounce up so let's say if I drop it gently and it doesn't bounce if I throw it at the ground as hard as possible and it bounces all the way up so that's the point at which it be able to start bouncing. Now you got all the work set up I'll quickly save it, I'm not going to add any of these in, but save it and to add it into your material, you just open your material and you go to your attributes and whatever, I've got whatever that's already in there but that's how you add it and obviously that allows you to have all the effects in your material when you've put it in your map and the, the reverb and everything to bake well as well. Um, now on your model, you don't have to do it on the material for your model. As far as I know, you only need to do it on this, the physics shapes. Obviously, you can do it for multiple different physics shapes, and they have their own individual surface properties. So let's say you had a part of the model that's wooden, like a handle, and the head, which is metal. You can do a physics shape for the handle and a physics shape for the head, and have the head as wooden, but the head as metal and the handle as wooden. But now, I'll change it from the small fish surface to the whatever surface. Obviously, if you look at the calculated mass, and I go to, let's say, wood, see the calculated masses it happens based on the physics we set we can save that i'm going to set it minus wood actually it's like so it just is there and your hitbox you can set it as whatever as well and that's hitbox obviously they're used for when you like doing traces in your code and you can use a hitbox to see if you're meant to be hitting the model it's just a nice way of dealing with stuff for that stuff but yep and that's how you set up uh, custom surfaces surface uh, properties for your models and materials it's pretty easy, pretty simple.